this is Jeff at Battlefish and this video is to show you how I set up my GoPros for shooting my fishing videos. First I want to show you some of the options. Obviously there's the GoPro head strap which you can do as well. Um, the only thing I will warn you about this is you want to tether it to your shirt or something which I'll show you how to set up a tether here in a minute um, in case this comes off uh, with your camera you don't want to lose the whole uh, the whole thing in the in the water so um, this is obviously an option this is by GoPro um, we've got a, a clip-on this is a uh, Telesin clip-on uh, it's I've tried this it's pretty heavy although it has a lot of different adjustments here but it's pretty heavy on your hat so uh, it doesn't work as well as I, I like um, although this works good for clipping uh, to all kinds of things and then there's the GoPro, GoPro hat clip and uh, this works really well as well uh, I, I feel it works very well if you don't want to drill a hole in your hat like I'm going to show you here uh, this works very well it does push the camera out in front of the hat quite a bit uh, which I'm not crazy about but it works and it clips on the hat and same thing with this you might want to tether this with uh, some paracord to your shirt and i'll show you how to do that as well so those are some options so what i'm going to do is uh, basically the setup i have on this hat you see this here uh, this one i've used a regular screw and washer but we uh, actually invested in some a uh, little better uh, quarter inch threaded screws and basically what we're looking at here is something you'd find on a tripod which is a quarter inch threaded screw I got those on eBay got five of them for like ten dollars and then I go with the aluminum screw in base like this it has a fixed nut so you're not losing that little nut on the end like the GoPros have and then I just picked up some uh, thumb screw so this happens to be this brand but you know you get any kind of thumb screw works very well so basically what we're going to show you is how uh how i set this up on the um and what we've got is uh we've got a piece of paracord tether here which we'll show you and the most common question i get with this setup is what happens when you lose your hat um uh, that is a problem so we're going to tether the hat to your shirt which you pr probably should do anyway because I hear a lot of people lose hats I don't lose hats for some reason I guess I don't know why but maybe the weight of the camera keeps the bill down uh, and I run with you know with the if you watch my videos I run with the uh, bill in front not in back um, for my videos and uh, I really don't have a problem with losing any hats so uh, we'll show you how to do that also, uh, if you wait till the end of the video, I'm going to give one of these away to one of my viewers. I um, haven't figured out how I'm going to do that yet, but uh, uh, this one I'm going to make. I'm going to give away to my, one of my viewers. So, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll uh, get to it. So, I got a 3 8 inch. Uh, drill bit here uh, this is while well, this is a quarter inch screw we're uh, going to drill a three eighths inch and I go about the middle of the hat try to get the center line of the hat here and try to get right in the middle of the hat here seems to work the best and you're just drilling there we go we got that going through there and then we just screw that on like that and I always like to put the um, the thumb screw on the left hand side uh, so it's not in, in, in the way of the battery door because uh, as you're gonna see I then we tighten that down real good that's what it looks like there, and that's what that looks like there. And then the thumb screw goes over here like that. See?
And you want to make sure you get a thumb screw that's big enough, long enough. I tried to find the longer ones. Uh, they're easier to hook up. Some of them get underneath the camera and rub the camera. So this one uh, uh, is a, a nice length and uh, it works real good. So that's, that's as simple as that setup is. And what's nice about this is you can take it off if you want pretty easily. You don't need a screwdriver or anything. Just unscrew it. You want to take it off. Okay. And then we're going to make the little tether. Tether's pretty simple. We've got some sort of clip. This happens to be, uh, I was in the rental business, uh, construction rental business. We had these glove clips. And um, I just cut off one of the clips. You get two clips out of each one. And uh, go figure eight knot there. Figure eight knot. And then we go uh, back here where the... Uh, band is snap and you just want to tie yourself a little bowline knot that's what I use and now you've got your hat tethered so if it flies off you can retrieve it pretty easily this clip is very strong Clips to your shirt. Um, got little teeth on it, so it's not going to go anywhere. So that's basically the setup. Uh, I do not like chest cams. Uh, chest cams work for motorcycles and bicycling and things like that. They do not work for fishing. And I'll show you some clips of pretty popular fishing guys uh, with using chest cams, uh, and they miss a lot of action. Uh, especially, I fish a lot of tarpon, and you're going to miss a lot of jumps because. Uh, your hand is going to be in the way, and your reel is going to be in the way uh, of the of the camera that's at your chest, and your chest is not looking uh, where the fish is. Uh, oftentimes, I'm I'm turning my head like this uh, to look at. I hear stuff. I hear fish rolling. Uh, I hear fish splashing or chasing bait. My head's turning like this. My chest stays here. My head turns. Um, I don't miss a lot of shots uh, with the uh, the head mount. Um, chest mounts, I've never used a chest mount, but I've watched a lot of videos. I watch a lot of other fishing videos where they use the chest mounts. And again, very popular guys, uh, but they miss a lot of, a lot of shots. You can hear them say, Oh, look at the jump. We don't see it. So one thing as I shoot a continuous video, um, all my cameras are running all the time and, um, I'm using uh, 256, or I'm up to 512 uh, gigabyte uh, SD cards in all my cameras. So I get about 19 hours of video on 4K at 4K at 120 frames a second. Uh, and that's what I shoot at, which I'll talk about a little bit later as well. And uh, so I use an external battery, and the battery I use happens to be the Slim Pro Pocket Juice. Um, it's uh, 20,000 milliamp hours. Uh, and it, the advantage of this is not only the milliamp hours at 20,000, it lasts all day. Uh, it has two USB ports, uh, which I have to plug the camera into one. And then for summer shooting, when it's really hot out, I have these little, they're called 2510 USB fans. And uh, you can find these on eBay. They're pretty cheap. I think. Ten dollars for two of them, or three of them, depends on how you buy them. Uh, but this uh, clips onto the camera. Uh, in the summertime, this gets really hot. Camera gets really hot, and uh, take the battery out, and we run without the battery. If we're running an external power, I'll just take that door off. And then uh, we hook up the fan like this. And then the, this is plugged into a cord I have here running out of the uh, secondary battery, backup battery, pocket juice. That pokes into there. Some people have asked about the noise of the fan. 
I mean, you can't hear it. It's just spinning and it's blowing air into the battery compartment. And that works. It does keep the camera cool enough, even in the hot sun. Um, and these are just a little elastic bands I've got holding this on. And uh, you might hear a little buzzing. Uh, it's very, very faint, though, uh, in the videos. Uh, really not a big deal. Especially when the wind's blowing and things like that. So, And um, then if you look on the cameras I've got here, uh, these have a little door. Uh, you can plug a USB in, but because I put the fans on, um, a lot of times I'm shooting with the door uh, off or open at least uh, when the fans are on it. So that's the hookup. Here's a little close-up picture of the of the fan. How that's set up. And I picked up these uh, cell phone holders at uh, Walmart for like, they were on sale for like $2, $3, something like that. Just cut off the uh, ends of them and I'm able to uh, keep the cords there. And then um, this has a uh, clip on it. So I clip that on my belt and then run the cord up through the back here. Usually I run it through the uh, little bowline knot I tied here the camera here like this like that keeps the cord kind of out of the way this happens to be my 10 I have a 10 an 11 and a 12 so uh, the one on my hats the 12 uh, the 11s on the tripod and this is the 10 and they all have about the same uh, same shooting quality I find uh, for me uh, work really good um, and uh, one other thing you'll need to do if you're using any kind of backup battery with GoPro is you got to download GoPro Labs to your camera. And there's instructions at GoPro Labs uh, to how to do that. And you're going to want to do a TUSB setting so that it accepts the USB battery because otherwise you're going to get a warning and the camera is going to shut off uh, saying that it doesn't have enough amperage to run the, run the camera. Um, so once you do that, a T USB setting and GoPro Labs. There's lots of videos of how to do that online uh, on YouTube. Uh, you'll be able to use an external battery and shoot all day. Uh, again, 512. I just was at Walmart and a 512 gigabyte uh, SanDisk uh, SD micro SD card is uh, $39. Uh, you have the Walmart brand, which seems to be just as good. Um, it's like uh, $35. So uh, they're really cheap now. Um, and it gives you all day shooting. So again, that's basically how it works. And uh, I'd love to give this hat to someone. Uh, if you meet me at the boat ramp and uh, you say you watched the video on how to uh, shoot video um, on your hat, um, say you watched it and I'll be glad to uh, give you the hat. That's the basic setup you're looking at right there. So in review, we just drilled a, about a quarter inch hole in the bottom of the hat. We've got a screw. Uh, these are the uh, screws I buy on eBay and an aluminum mount with a thumb screw and a uh, pretty simple setup. Works really well. This one I've got tethered to my shirt. And if you get a hat that fits you pretty good, um, really not, not really a weight problem.
So thanks for watching and I appreciate your time and I hope this helps. Thank you.